So this next exercise is called a seated eccentric calf raise. All right, so the goal of using a seated calf raise versus a standing calf raise is anytime that you go seated, it kind of it moves the work down more into this soleus muscle here, which you can see is, is a lot closer to that Achilles tendon. So what we can do is when you do a strength exercise, especially an eccentric exercise where you're moving to the end range of motion, you're actually also producing a, almost a better, actually, yes, a better flexibility component than just stretching it. So now we're getting some active flexibility in there, which is gonna be extremely important um, when we talk about preventing Achilles tears and, and keeping your ankle healthy. So all we're gonna do, you're gonna just use yourself as your resistance. And we're gonna start up at the toes and then eight second count down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want to get all the way down to our end range of motion as far as we can get. You should feel a stretch in the ankle. And then we're going to press up from there back to the top. And then eight count down. One of the important things is as you're counting down, you want to make sure that you're keeping tension throughout the whole time. So even if you're like a terrible counter and you aren't very good at timing your count so that eight seconds is when you're at the bottom, keep going. Then. Keep going. Keep going slow. Keep the tension on whole way down because that is the whole point you want to be able to keep that tension even as you get towards your end range of motion so you don't want to go one two three four five six seven eight you get halfway and then just drop to the bottom it's very important to take your time keep tension all the way down to the bottom of the stretch keep it slow and then press it back up now you want to make sure when you do this exercise, you want to make sure that you set up on a surface where you're going to have room for your heel to hang down. So as you can see here, I've got a plate put on top of uh, on top of my deadlift platform. You know, you can use whatever you need to, one plate, two plates, but you got to make sure that there's enough room for you to get to a full stretch at the bottom as far as you can go, or else now you're actually making yourself worse versus better. You don't want to make yourself strong in a shortened range of motion. You wanna be strong throughout, throughout a long range of motion. That is our eccentric cap raise seated.